Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Um, I think I told you guys this summer I am teaching robotics to elementary school students. So if you watched a couple of videos ago, you saw my giant army of Riley Rovers. Um, so teaching elementary school students, um, you know, they, they won't have the luxury of building these robots. So I needed something just quick and easy. Uh, because, you know, the time that I will have with them is, is real short. So I wanted the most versatile, easy robot to kind of switch things in and out. So I, I definitely wanted them to uh, do some experiments or some robotics with their color sensor and their ultrasonic sensor. But then I also wanted them to be able to use their medium motor here. So um, the thing that's real great about this Riley Rover is how quick and easy uh, we can swap out. So if, let's say this student is, we're done with the color sensor and ultrasonic sensor, I just, in the front here, you can see how we can't have both on at the same time. And I can just pull that out. Ooh, I actually took a motor off there. And then all I have to do is, with a cable, plug this in, and it ends up just going onto the front like that. So what's real nice about this is once we're done with one thing it's just super easy to swap out uh what we want uh you know and doesn't have to take that much time a couple of seconds take this off couple of seconds put that on and then we can do so many more things so that's what i love about this riley rover it's just so versatile we can put so many things on and look it doesn't take that much to have this you know to have that built and this to just you know, it doesn't take that long to build and then attach onto these uh, robots here. So let me quickly show you everything that these two robots can do. So with this particular Riley Rover combination of the color sensor and ultrasonic, this uh, robot can follow a black line. And it would also be able to, if I switch out this cable, be able to use the ultrasonic sensor to sense if there's something in front of it. So check this out. I did have to, because this color sensor is so close to this ultrasonic sensor, I did actually have to remove this color sensor in order to get this cable in here. But I'm still able to run a program where the ultrasonic sensor, if it sees something 30 centimeters away, will stop. So that's one thing I did not mention is that you will have to remove this color sensor and able to get this cable into the ultrasonic sensor. And if I want to use this Riley Rover and the media motor to grab that puck and bring it back, we can use this attachment for that. So I really, again, love these Riley Rovers. They're so versatile again. I can switch things in and out and it doesn't have to be, you know, this major overhaul to get these attachments on here to teach uh, students what I need to teach them. So I'm just a big fan. Um, I've left the link down below in the comments section, sorry, in the information section. Um, again, this is a Damian Lee uh, a build here. I'll give him props and his link to his website if you want to see the instructions on how to build any of the Riley Rovers. So again, guys, hope you found this very helpful. Um, really neat robot to try to check out and build and use. Uh, if you're just not needing to spend a whole lot of time and you want to be able to change the attachments and sensors that you're using in and out real quickly. All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out. Thank you.